So you are working with your integers. Uh, sometimes there is a need that you do apply the rules or laws uh, on working with those integers. We are given questions like these ones. Take note the typical questions. There you are supposed to apply almost everything that you've learned how to square the numbers, a number being raised to the exponent of three to the cubes of integers, everything that we referred in terms of addition and subtraction from our introduction. So make sure that you watch the video of the introduction about the integers so that you'll be able to understand this one because it is a continuation. And as we have such, we are going to also see some cases where uh, the board mass can be used uh, or some they can uh, refer to the bomb dust. So where the board mass is used, uh, we can also apply the bomb dust. What is important is that you have to get rid of the brackets first. You move on the division. Where the division is, you can apply multiplication at the same time. So division and multiplication just goes one at the same time. Then uh, addition and subtraction at the end, all right? So addition and subtraction are the ones that you uh, work out at the end. All right, so most of these guys is just a condition. From what you had, it's just a continuation. So make sure that you watch the introduction, like I said. We are given the first question, that is to calculate minus 2 to the exponent of 2 over 4 minus, minus 4 minus the square root of 49. All right. Remember, I referred to squaring of a negative when a negative is being raised to the exponent of 2. I told you guys it will tend to be a positive. So that's 2 squared, 2 times 2, which is a 4. So when you square a negative, it's going to be what? A positive. So this is simply going to be 4 over 4 like this. Or you can simply multiply minus 2 times minus 2. That's what the square means. It simply means the minus 2 is multiplying itself. So that's simply negative times negative, which is positive. So that will be positive 4. All right? A minus and a minus will give us a positive. Remember, a negative, when it meets another negative, that is going to gi uh, give us a positive. Same with positive 2, a positive. It will give us a positive. So that one was going to be a positive 4. Minus... The square root of 49, as we know the squares, we must understand the square root of what? 49. So for the squares, I want you to revise 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, up to even 12 squared. You're supposed to just know these ones by what? By hand. So that if you know the square, the square of 7, that 7 squared is equal to 49, Therefore, it is easier for you to know the square root of 49 because the square root of 49 is going to be what? 7. The number that is being raised to the exponent of 2 is the square root of, four of the number that you have here. So the square root of 49 is what? 7. That's the idea then. All right? So let's simplify, guys. Division. A number and a number which are the same gives us a 1. So 4 divided by 4, that's a 1. It was going to give us a 1. So we are going to have 1 plus a 4 minus a 7. So as we can see, according to our board mass, addition subtraction can be done at the same time. So we can subtract, we can add it after. So in this case, I'm going to start by addition. Add these two numbers first. Uh, 1 plus 4, that was going to give us a 5. So that's 5 minus 7, right? So take note the 7 is having a negative. So at the end, 2 minus 7. Uh, I mean, 5 minus 7. Remember, I referred this, all right? This number is a positive. This one, it's a negative. So if you maybe have got a confusion of what is happening here, guys, this case that we are seeing, it is the same as you are given 5 plus minus 7 like this. Remember? Uh, the plus and minus gives us a minus so that you can see that you are adding a positive and a negative. Remember I said when you are adding a positive and a negative, the signs are different. You simply subtract 
bigger number minus the smaller number when you ignore the signs. So it's 7 minus what? 7 minus 5, which is 2. Then you take the sign of the bigger number by ignoring the signs. The bigger number is what? The bigger number is 7. Then you take its sign. Its sign is negative 2. So 5 minus 2, uh, 5 minus 7, that's a negative 2. If you know it by head, guys, that's 5 minus 7. Like, you know, the technique even by just looking into the these numbers, you know, that's minus. Just write the answer, guys. There's no need for you to go through this. This is for the case maybe you do not understand your whole numbers. I mean, your integers, you can just apply this part. So, so many ways, guys, that you can try to figure out how to attempt these typical questions. All right, let's look into another question. There we have got uh, minus 2 to the exponent of 3. Uh, looking into this, you can see the negative is being raised to the exponent of uh, 3. Remember I said a negative to the exponent of a 3 gives us a negative. A positive to the exponent of 3 gives us a positive. That when you cube, when you're dealing with the cubes of integers. So meaning to say minus 2 when raised to the exponent of 3, it is going to give us a negative. A negative remains as a negative. So when raised to the exponent of 3, guys, this one is going to remain as a negative. So what is 2 to the exponent of 3? That's 8. 2 times 2 times 2, which is going to be 8. But with what? A negative. Or you can simply multiply, guys. Minus 2 to the exponent of 3 means minus 2 times, minus 2 times, minus 2, 3 times. So negative times negative, that's a positive 4. Then we multiply to this negative 2, which is remaining. 4 times negative 2, that's what? A positive to a negative, that's a negative. 4 times 2. That's negative 8. So as you can see, we simply have the same answer. But knowing the rules, it, it's, it makes it easier. Okay? Uh, there is a minus there. And the multiplication, let's just rewrite this part. Minus 3 times minus 3. There's nothing that we can do. Times 2 squared. 2 times 2. That's a 4. All right? Remember a positive when you raise to the exponent of 2, it remains as a positive, all right? This is where you are. According to our bodmas or bomdas, remember, uh, with the, whatever part that you want to use, division, we have the brackets. We do not have the brackets now. Division, we do not have division. Multiplication, we have multiplication. So we're going to multiply the numbers that are under a multiplication on our question. Which one? This way, there's a multiplication. It's minus 3 and minus 3. All right? There's another multiplication here, guys. It's like these ones. are Under multiplication, all these. So these numbers are going to be multiplied together. They're under a multiplication, all of these ones. So let's multiply. So you're going to have minus 8. You multiply these numbers that are on their own. Minus 3. 2 minus 3. Remember, a negative to a negative gives us what? A positive. So that was going to be a positive there. All right? Minus 3 times minus 3. That's a positive 9. And positive 9 times what? Times 4. It's positive 9 times 4. That was going to give us positive what? 36. When it is positive 36, it means you are, it's going to be additional. Positive 36. Suppose this one gave us a positive. The sign has changed because of this negative to negative is now a positive. Or if you do not uh, want to use it this way, you are going to say, uh, you are going to consider up to here the negative, this one. You leave it, this one. So you're going to have a negative. Then you multiply the numbers that you are seeing here to say, okay, the sign that I'm seeing here is a plus. So I'm going to multiply plus to a minus. Meaning to say, I'm going to have what? A minus. 3 times 3 times this one, it's going to be 36, but over there, negative. So it will be negative, negative, which is what? A positive. So still, one and the same thing, guys, like uh, the same way that I wrote before. So it's up to you. You can just have this stage to this stage, if you understand it that way. All right. Minus 8 is being added to what? 36. 36 is a positive. You are adding a negative to a positive. Remember your concept. Yeah, I talked about this. When adding a positive number and a negative number, regardless of the order, 
that is out, we have what? The sign of the biggest number, ignoring signs. Simply subtract the numbers, ignoring the signs. I talked about these guys. So this is the condition. The answer is going to have the sign of the bigger number by ignoring the signs. That is 36. That is having what? A positive. So our answer is going to have a positive. But how do you get the answer now? You simply subtract, ignore the signs, then subtract 36 minus 8. Remember, bigger number minus what? Smaller number. So what is 36 minus 8? That is the concept, which is what? Uh, that's 28. So our answer was going to be positive what? Positive 28. Just like that. So questions can be given, guys, in this manner. Apply your 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 board mass where it is to be applied. Uh, the concept of numbers, the square roots, this and that. Just try to work out as many questions. Do as many questions. Practice always makes what perfect. So try as many questions as you can. Till we meet again.